So for anyone who knows my story, um, has probably heard that when I was first uh, approached with the option of getting an ostomy, I was like, absolutely not. And put it off for a very long time. And one of the biggest reasons for that was because I thought that I was not gonna be able to dress the way that I wanted to anymore. And um, I may not be the most fashionable person in the world, but you know, what I wear and shopping and things like that are things that I enjoy. Um, and wearing certain clothes, you know, make me just feel better about myself. And I just, I enjoy getting to wear nice, pretty things. And I literally thought that I was going to have to spend the rest of my life with an ostomy wearing sweatpants and shirts that were two sizes too big. And I remember when I was finally coming around on the idea of having to do this, I was talking with my surgeon about it. And he was telling me, you know, oh, what I'm wearing right now, you wouldn't even be able to tell. But of course I didn't really believe him and the fact that he's a guy and not, you know, wearing particularly, you know, form-fitting things, I thought that he was probably just exaggerating and that it would be really noticeable. And so being 26, going through with this, I didn't want to have to spend the rest of my life not being able to wear nice things. And you may have heard me say on here before, and I will probably say it many more times, that since having my surgery over two years ago, I have not thrown out one piece of clothing because of my ostomy. And um, so I was gonna kind of go through some of the things that I like to wear um, now and some of the kind of tips and tricks that I have found um, that sort of wear, uh, wearing clothes make it a little more easier to, um, to be able to pull them off and uh, anything that I've learned that may be helpful. So I'll show you a couple of things that I like to do. So one of the first things that I like to do is to layer things and especially wearing kind of, you know, a tighter camisole like this really helps in just keeping everything in place. And um, so even like with my jeans, um, my stoma is a couple inches above uh, my pant line. Um, so especially if you are somebody who is considering having an ostomy in the future, make sure that they um, mark you beforehand and realize where your pant line is going to be in relation to your stoma. Um, because for me, I went in, um, wore a normal pair of pants that I would wear, and that way we could place it to make sure it's not going to be right under the waistline where it could hurt and wasn't too low that it would cause problems or just much higher than it needed to be. Um, so that was a nice option to be able to do that. But I like having camisoles like this that can kind of keep everything tight, keep it in place, um, really doesn't show through much at all. And the little amount that it does is not something that I've ever had anybody comment on or even notice or make a remark about. So I like to do just a simple sweater with this kind of stuff. And so that way, if I ever get to the point that the bag is filling up and I haven't had a chance to empty it yet, I do have the ability to kind of pull something in front of it um, if it's showing through more than I would normally like it to. Um, so I do like always kind of having a sweater or something like that handy that I can pull in front of it if I need to. Another good option is incorporating a scarf. And this is just a normal scarf that I've tied together to make into an infinity scarf. And having something like this kind of pulls the attention away from your stomach and kind of lifts it up a little bit higher to be more around the scarf. And I think that that makes kind of a good distraction from anything that may be going on in this area. And when I first had my ostomy, I used to try to get shirts like this that were a little looser and a little more ruched. But I actually found that when they were looser, the bag tended to kind of get caught um, on the shirt a little bit and would poke out even more. Um, so the other option that I found is using the uh, belly bands that I've talked about before. This is one that I just picked up from Target. It is a maternity band. You find it in the maternity section. I think it's $16 or $17. And I use these for everything. I wear them under all sorts of different clothing. So as you can see now, I have a nice smooth line. The, uh, the bag and shirt don't get caught on each other at all. And see, it just comes up a little bit above the waist um, and it fits pretty snugly. Um, they're Got a couple of different sizes, but they're real stretchy and can fit almost any size. I mean, I was a good bit smaller when I first had my ostomy, and even then it fit just fine. So I wouldn't worry about that. I was also really excited when the peplum shirts came into style because I thought this was perfect. It keeps it away from the ostomy and uh, will kind of keep it hidden more. But I find that I have the same issues that I was just talking about, where it kind of catches on it and sticks out a little bit further. So usually whenever I'm wearing a style like this, I keep the bands with it and that way you can just pull it to cover up and it's perfectly comfortable then kind of keeps any eyes away from this area as it's you know hanging loosely and uh, so these kind of shirts are also really great but I do recommend wearing something under it just to help kind of keep things in place and keep it secure because otherwise it kind of just feels like it's out in the open. 
Another great thing that has come into style recently are high-waisted and patterned shorts. I think these are great because they kind of disguise anything, and I wear them high enough that they keep everything in place, completely mask the ostomy. Even if it starts filling up a little bit, you really can't see it at all, and, uh, and gives you the ability to go empty it before anyone notices. But I love these. They're so comfortable, and um, I think that they're fun coming in different color patterns and things like that. Along those same lines, I think that rompers are really fun because they usually cinch in right at the waist. This one has a drawstring, so it can kind of help keep things stable and where they should be. Um, also, usually is kind of patterned and makes it um, a little more disguised. I mean, granted, you do have to deal with the whole taking off the whole thing in order to empty your ostomy bag, um, but you have to do that anyways, whether you have an ostomy or not. Um, but I think that rompers are really great because they're nice and comfortable and, like I said, kind of keep everything where it should be. And now looking at dresses, I practically live in dresses during the summer and they're my favorite thing to wear. And they were another thing that I was really kind of concerned about when I was first going through my surgery. Um, but what I do is I keep with the bands again and don't worry, I'm wearing shorts, I'm not gonna flash you all. <laughs> but I wear one of the bands underneath and this really gives it the uh, support and stability. As you can see, I fold under the bag kind of inside the band and that gives it all the support it needs even when it starts filling up. Um, it keeps it from, from tugging and pulling or getting caught on anything like that. And then in dresses like this, especially um, if I'm kind of worried about it showing through if it starts filling up a little bit, a belt is a great thing to kind of keep it in place again. And something like this just gives it even more stability to kind of uh, keep everything in place and keep that top piece from flipping down or anything like that. Also with dresses, something that I try to look for is ones that have some sort of waistband um, for not only just giving it that little bit extra support, but also kind of camouflaging it. Um, I love patterns also for that reason, because I feel like it kind of, if the bag starts filling up and I start feeling like it's really noticeable, it usually can be kind of disguised by a pattern and by having um, something across the waist. And then finally, this is a dress I wanted to show you because I bought this dress because I felt like if I could wear this dress with an ostomy, that I could wear anything. And because you can see, it's, it's really pretty form-fitting, but with having my, my band under there to kind of keep everything in place, you still can't see anything through it. Um, I just have to be a little more careful if I'm wearing something like this, that if it starts filling up, that I take care of it sooner rather than later. So I probably wouldn't wear this to something that I may not have easy access to a bathroom. Um, but I, as I said, as I found that I can wear pretty much anything that I want. And I would hate to think that anyone feels like they can't um, go out wearing their normal clothes and the normal things that make them feel beautiful or strong or confident um, with an ostomy, because you can. And I would, I would encourage you to try different things. Don't be afraid to try something that takes you a little out of your comfort zone with your ostomy. Um, but give it a try. See if you like it. Try different kinds of bands. There's lots of ones that you can buy out there. Like I said, I got mine at Target, but there's lots of great resources that have ones specifically for ostomies um, that just help give, keep things in place and give that extra support um, that is really important. And so just when I'm getting dressed, I'm not worried about my ostomy, but I do keep it in the back of my mind, and I'm thinking about it when I get ready, whether or not I want something to kind of help keep it in place, or whether or not it might just be fine on its own. And so if you just put that little bit of extra thought in it, I think you can really wear whatever you want. Um, so I hope that this shows that you can still dress the way that you want, that you still can uh, be the same you that you were before, and having an ostomy is not going to change that, and uh, that you'll find that you can be just as confident with an ostomy as you were before.